Hello, Boss World. Welcome to Boxing Blog Center. I just finished watching an interview of Robert Garcia, you know, the father and trainer of Mikey Garcia. Uh, the interview was done by ES News. I guess a lot of you guys know who ES News is, you know what I mean? This guy is always in every gym and he is always everywhere. And uh, yeah, he was asked about the Wilder and Fear fight. How does he see it playing out? And he is news. Uh, talk about the fight being a mega fight. And Robert Garcia immediately told the guy that, listen, this fight is not a mega fight. It's a normal fight. It could be a mega fight in the UK, but it's not a mega fight in the US. The fight wouldn't do good numbers in the US because of Tyson Fury's long layoff. Although my, Robert Garcia didn't say that, but he just said the fight wouldn't do well in the US. It wouldn't do good numbers in the US. And we already know that's because of Tyson Fury's long layoff. And secondly, Tyson Fury's style is not really appeasing to Americans, according to Robert Garcia himself and the other guy who was in the gym. You know, they talk about that the style isn't, you know, impressive. You know, maybe it might do a couple of good numbers, but it's not going to do huge numbers. So, the American fans are not really hyped up about this fight, like the way the UK fans are. There's just some, some of the UK fans, you know what I mean? And the worldwide fans, I don't know what the worldwide fans think about it. In my opinion... I would say, I'm not hyped up about the fight. I'm not like, ballsing my ass off, like ballsing and happy that the fight is getting made. No, 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 I'm not happy because I know Tyson Fury is not at his best. And he's going to get eaten alive by Wilder. So if Wilder want to fight a life opponent, an opponent who is going to bring it to him, an opponent who could beat him as well, he has to fight Dylan White. Even Robert Garcia was talking about Otis having more balls than Tyson Fury. If Deontay Wilder decides to fight Otis again, that fight would get more attention than fighting Tyson Fury in America. And that's kind of strange, but you have to look at the landscape. The landscape right now is that Tyson Fury is not at his best. Number, number two, the, the style full of cadres is not really impressive, even some boxing fanatics of boxing fans, old school boxing fans, they want to see an entertaining fight, they want to see someone uh, getting knocked out or you know, drama, they want to see drama, you know I me. Mean? this guy knocked down, this guy knocked this guy down, the other one gets up again, knock him down, you know, like Klitschko and Joshua fight words that fight can never be forgotten, never be forgotten that's for sure, so you see, not every American are uh, just happy, but I think it's only the water fanboys on Twitter who are really buzzing about this. Come fight night, if they do fight, the fight might not do good numbers on pay-per-view. <laughs> a lot of people know Fury is not at his best. I myself, I'm not going to pay for that fight. I will watch the fight, but I will not spend my dime, okay, on it. I'm not going to spend... A dime on the fight. Okay, I'm gonna watch it or stream it, however you wanna you wanna say it. But I'm not gonna pay them for it because if Fury was at his best, I will pay every money that I have on it. But Fury is not at his best. You know, how will I be paying for a fight to see another person get hot? Someone I know that is not really at his best. That someone I know that has been, you know. In the couch for more than three years before coming back, you know, just looking fit doesn't mean you are ready. Because the fighting game has to do with the mindset and also the body. Okay, we can say, oh, the body outside low school is getting better, but the body, he what about body inside? He needs to get a pressure fighter like W. Brazil, who comes to win, not a fighter like Pianeta Seferi, to prepare for water. I'm just saying, 
So Wado saying that he will get credit, or he should get credit after he beats Tyson Fury. <laughs> well, the fans are already saying it right now. Tyson Fury is not at his best, and there is no balls about the fight in America. There will be no balls about it. But against Joshua, there will be all balls. But that's why Joshua remains the A-side. Joshua remains the A-side. Till when he decides to let the younger generations take over. The younger generations like uh, Daniel Dubois. You know me. I think Daniel Dubois for me might be the future. If he keeps his head high. You know me. But being with Frank Warren might be a problem. Because Frank Warren is not... A good promoter like Eddie Hearn. We can say Frank Warren is a legend. Is a legend. He's done a lot of good things for the sport of boxing. But that was then. Okay. Way back there. Eddie Hearn is the future. You know what I mean? The future promoters has to come up with a new strategy. And Eddie Hearn is doing that. You know what I mean? So that's my opinion, guys. Well, you can see... American fans, I'm not saying water fanboy. Water fanboys are no real Boston fans. They are just water ass liquor. You know what I mean? They don't care about boxing. All they care about is the to water. You know, real boxing fans, American fans, they know a good fight, they know a bad fight, they know a normal fight. And this fight with Tyson Fury, it is a normal fight. So, that's my opinion, guys. That's why... Fury and Wilder had to, you know, do a 50 split because of that. But with Joshua, you're guaranteed a 50 million paycheck. There is no other ways around it. Guaranteed, okay? But with Fury, Wilder cannot guarantee Fury 10 million. Whatever com comes, up, comes up with a fight, they just share it. That's how it's going to be. That's my opinion, guys. Like the video, share and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. Cheers, everyone.